for record purpose. Okay. I know you are a famous face, but for record purpose. Okay, hi people, my name is Orwell Adivoda. I'm an actual filmmaker and movie director. Yeah, today Tampa is holding a, 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 a workshop about directing. What is your notion about this? What? What's your take about this? Oh, okay, it's a um, direct um, Tampan Guild of Directors. A guild under Tampan, Lagos and Chapter. Uh, yeah, we're having a seminar. Um, we're having a seminar with um, Lagos State um, Guild of Directors, Tampan, and um, just for us to look better, for us to do the techniques of cinematic directing. Basically, majorly, that's why we're here. Yeah, as a director, what? The, the necessary thing that someone needs to be a good director? Yeah, uh, the basic things that you need to be a director is first of all, knowing your job as a director, second of all, knowing your camera angles, and third of all, knowing the um, light angles, um, knowing the major technical things as a director, and of course, knowing the artistic things as a director. Yeah, do you think that this book is going to have a positive impact on acting as a whole? It's definitely going to have a very positive impact, impact on acting and on directing. So what are we expecting today? Yeah, I'm um, um, expecting to have fun and be informed. You know, you know, sometimes when you um, when a lecturer is teaching students and it's too serious, there are no fun attached to it. The student might be bored and might not even assimilate anything. But right now, with the kind of speakers that we have, we have um, the Biotra the Almighty Biotra B, we have um, the Almighty Shalafus Du, we have um, um, Olojede, Ayo Elek Bide, sorry, Ayo Elek Bide, and we have Adibayo Tijani. So what do you expect? You know, so I know that it's going to have a great impact on us. We are going to have fun, we are going to learn, we are going to be informed, we are going to be educated today by the time we are done. Madam, yeah, you are a veteran in the, in the profession. And nowadays, every young actor, uh, actor wants to be a director. So what do you have to tell them? I, I would say every young actor wants to be a director. A lot of people are running away from directing, actually. A lot of people are running away from directing. But then I would advise that if you want to be a director, a good one at that. Um, first of all, believe in God. Second of all, believe in yourself. Third of all, be informed. Learn the craft. Know it. Don't just be um, an actor by the name, know it, know what you're doing, understand the craft. That's the advice I want to do. Learn the job, get informed, learn it, and understand it. So, very believe in and like the last one for me. Let's know about you. Very believe in. Yeah, my name is Owala Demola. I'm an actor. I'm a movie director. I'm a filmmaker. I'm a singer. I'm a I'm a good I'm an Thanks so much, thanks First of all, they should trust us. I want your bass of pain, and 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 your Beat my chest, please take it to the bank that we have trusted hands right now in the industry that will make it to your money. Like you would, you would be so proud that you have invested in this business, in this craft. So that's my advice. Please trust us, trust us with your money. And I'm telling you, take it to the bank that you will have your money back. TGD, art lives on. TGD, art, a bit dramatic. TGD and live on. My advice to TGD is please let's keep doing what you're what we're doing. The positive ones. As many that are not so active, please be active. Um, let's just let and by the way, by laughing soya. Let's put all hands on the deck. Let's make ourselves proud. Let people respect this craft. Let people respect this association. Let's just keep doing good and let me inform. This is very important. <laughs> So, first of all, let me congratulate you for being, for being elected as Lagos State Tampa Governor. Thank you for from one of us here. Yeah, today is a workshop about directing. What prepared you to do this? The, the issue is this. I am not a movie director. My, some of my members are movie directors. 
what we are having today is the product of Tampan Guild of Directors. And Tampan Guild of Directors is an arm of theater as a motion picture practitioners as of Nigeria Tampan. So it is the TGD that is having a program today. And I, being the governor of the state, I am here to represent the state and do all of the things we get there. Yeah, you say you are not a director. Yeah. Are you a script writer, producer? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you, 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 you all know that you could producing and directing uh, go very fast. Soon. And I want to ask that for a person to be a very vibrant and a strong director, what it entails? You, you need to go for the school. When you attend the school of directing, they will tell you and they will teach you the basic gritty of the job. It is not an ordinary job. Movie directing is a very technical job, and if you are not conversant or versatile in that business, you will not make it. And that is why you have the, the gurus in the business who are making waves in the industry, those that have gone through the totality of the job. So it is not something that an ordinary person can just mount the camera and start calling the shot that is the director. No, you have to learn it, and it takes a lot of knowledge understanding and the top research work too before you can become a very successful director. So as, as you already said, now directing is one of the major key in acting. Yeah. Yeah, but nowadays, I'm sorry for this, some of the movie coming out from uh, your people, so not from me, from the uh, outside, they said they are below standard. What's your take on this? When you are talking of a movie that is produced at a low, a low standard. You try to look at the budget. The budget matters. Let me give you an example. If you give your wife 1,000 naira to cook soup for you, she will cook the soup. If you give your wife 10,000 naira to cook the soup for you, she will cook the soup for you. But there will be difference. So when you produce a low standard job, that means the budget is very low. You, you measure this one through the cast already. But when you have a, a very loaded and very resourceful production, through the cast you will know, through the crew you will know, even through the equipment you will know. So these are the basic things you want, you want to know between the, the substandard field and the well loaded, very successful field. So how do you check me this out? Because I am movie industry is very vibrant in Nigeria. How do you check me the, the low standard, the 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 the, the the, uh, the one that is not up to the standard, how do we check them in the, in the, in, in the market? It is the, it is the market that will check with it. I can't deny you from producing your movie. But the, the, those people that buy our films, those people that watch our films through the YouTube, those people that go to the cinemas will tell you they can't watch your film. And in the process, you will know that you are a failure. But when you have a solid film, people will patronize you, marketers will patronize you. And even at the cinema, it will be a box office hit. So if you have a good job, definitely you are on course. But how do you check ratings? And that's one of the ways you can check ratings. If you have produced film and people do not even buy the film, they have, to, they have already told you that your film is not good enough. So you have to make it a very resourceful one with cast, with crew, solid crew, then with good equipment. So, so of course. Sorry, sir, let's digress a bit. You are the current chairman of um, uh, Governor Lagos, um, Tampa Nego State. Yeah. What are your plans for the organization of Nego State? A lot. A lot. I've, I've, started, I've started already. We do a lot of in-house seminar, which I have started already. Then we want to do a Kuakete tool, which is for which is an elaborate one that would encompass all the local governments in the state participating. It's going to be a three-day affair. Then there's going to be another film production that will be totally syndicated to all the TV stations in Lagos State and Nigeria and as a whole. So those are part of the plan I have there for them. Then there's going to be an educational advancement uh, course whereby my uh, Lagos State chapter we have an alliance with one of the reputable institutions in Lagos State, whereby they will be training and training some of my members to have broader knowledge about the job we 
Finally, from me, what, 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 what's your message for TGD? TGD, they should continue to do what they are doing, what they are doing good. And that is one of them. Yes, they should continue to do it and continue to do it the more and the more. For me to be proud of them too. So, those are the things I think I can, I can do for them. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sorry, can I meet you, sir? My name is Bior Dumabe, fellow of Zella Arts. Uh, I'm a theatre practitioner and engage in film practice too. I have bias for technical. Uh, in other words, I'm a scenographer. You know, this has to do with set, lights, costume, props, and all the things that bring the visual pleasure to a charitable cinematic uh, experience. Yeah, this is total package. Yes. Yeah, total package. So what's happening today? What can you tell about what's happening today? Yeah, um, there's this outing that we have here organized by Tampan, the Guild of uh, uh, Directors. And uh, I, I think it's just a right you know, movement for us to examine an, our art. I don't, I don't, I don't. It is an extra of our business to see what we are not doing right. How do we improve our art? Uh, yeah. Uh, what do we need to do differently to make our art more acceptable uh, to the public, even beyond the shores of Nigeria? You know, and I think this is what this outing is going to probe today. Let us see what we can do. Let us see the techniques that we can introduce in our art to make the difference. I think that's what this is all about. Yeah, as a director, a total person in cinema, how he checkmates the low standard in the movie industry? Yeah, in the first place, um, I think the problem we have right now is like um, uh, there's no check, you know, there's no regulation, there's no, body, no, no body to regulate the art as it were. You know, the various associations and kids that we have still do not have that power uh, to bring the standard in to do the control that is necessary. Uh, I, 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 I think this is uh, a, a unique a, a, a legislative tool to be able to achieve that. Until you are empowered, you won't be able to do that. That is why you see that uh, uh, it, the, the industry as it is now, it's like building a fantastic house. You lace it with gold, with the old furniture in this world, with all the things that bring aesthetics you know, to the world and the rest of them. Then there's no gate. You know that if there's no gate to that place, it has become a natural bird for all sorts of creatures, creepers, crawling things, and the rest of them. So that is what the industry is for now. It's for every tub they can hurry because there is no regulation. Yeah, yeah now you need to ask this question. Nowadays, it's all about social media. Some of your colleagues are now sending out uh, skits on, on social media. What's your take on this? Uh, yeah, skits are necessary. This is, you see, uh, let us first of all identify theatre and relative art as, um, as, as a pragmatic instrument for social change. You know, and in whatever form it comes, let the art play its role of correcting the ills of the society. If you look at all these skits, they are more of a moral thing. They condemn certain things that are not okay. That is not saying too that there are not some that are not just okay, that are not supposed to go on there. So there should still be a body to regulate this. Government should come up with you know, a, a law that will, that, that will check all this so that it is not you know, an all commerce affair. You know, but I think for me, it's okay that we have skits all over the place correcting the ills of the society. It is not killing the, the, the industry. It is not killing it. They can, they can, they can still progress. They can flourish. Paris, they can be together. You know, simultaneously working. It's not killing the industry. Because it, it's talk of regulatory and a, a, the skit makers and they are not under any regulatory body. That is what I am saying. That there should be a mechanism to check that. You can only regulate it. It is not good to say kill it. You can't kill it. There's no skill that goes beyond ten minutes. Is there anyone? Whereas a, a, a cinema experience or theater experience will take at least 45 minutes, if not one hour. 
You understand what I'm saying now? There's still not a feeling that is like that of the cinema, of the theater. You go to the theater to watch, you know, a, a theatrical performance. You go to the cinema to watch a film. There's no experience like that. You can't compare the experience of a skit to that. You understand? It doesn't bring you the aesthetic experience that will last you more than that moment that you are watching it. Whereas when you go to the cinema, you are able to discuss with people that you have entered the place with. If you go to a theater, the same way. You know, so that is why I'm saying that uh, one, one will not kill the other. They yeah, can still, they can still operate. Yeah, I love the, your, your, your last statement about um, cinema. Because I know you started from cinema, from theaters, Alani Do, going from one place to another, going from one town to another. But now nah, it's not like that. What, 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 what can you say about this? <laughs> the world is, is an evolving you know, thing. The world is going, the world is moving. You understand? The uh, Alani Do theater thing of moving from one place to the other does not come with all, you know, uh, all, all the paraphernalia of a theater. It is not like entering a theater to enjoy the scene. You are still robbed of so many things when it is just a theater on the road. You understand? For instance, you are not talking about set here, you are not talking about light, you are not talking about the normal costumes to do all of this. You know, and all these are the ones that bring the aesthetic experience that an average audience wants to enjoy. And let me tell you too that the whole world has gone rasmatized and all that they want to be, you know, to, to feel is happiness. They just want to be dazzled. And what gives that? It is an experience in the theater or a cinema. It is not the watching of a show on the road that will give that aesthetic experience. So that is the difference. You know, so I, I think I think it's still okay that we have the drift, you know, to the interior rather than do the exterior. Anyway, we see our son that is that still do that in taking the theater to the people to home sets, to people's doorsteps, for them to feed the theater. We still have that. We have the Bariga guys that will make theater happen anywhere. They go to motor park, they go to market to do their thing. Yeah, that has its own space. And see, Gorilla Theater is still so much, you know, in tune. You know, it's still so much accepted. It's still okay. And this is a tool that the government can even use to popularize all the policies that they keep churning out. You understand? If you ask, go to my village to ask my mother any of the policies that the government is putting in place, she does not know. But if, for instance, we have NUA, uh, a new uh, uh, NUA, an agency of a government orientation agency, that is supposed to simplify all this to the people. If they have a theater group that can do all this into speech to make it easy for people to, to you know, to understand, the better for government. That means they are not just talking about the head of people. People will know what they are talking about. What happens to using people's different languages, indigenous languages, you know, to, to, to show us kids that will talk about government policies so that people can really understand and know too that theatre has the capacity to enter not too easy to reach area of the society. Even where there is no electricity, where they can enjoy radio or television, theatre has the capacity to reach that area. So I think government and individuals should leverage on this to make theatre perform maximally. Thank you, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sir, you are one of the very established directors in Nigeria and a professor for that matter. Well, established director, sir. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a movie director. Okay. I, I'm a theatre director. The theatre director. I deliberately don't want to go into movie directing uh, because you know what? Only one person cannot do everything. I am into acting for movies, uh, but I do theatre directing. So how do we check made the the standard movies in the industry? Sir? Yes, I've answered the same question. And we, we looked at it with uh, the fact that the regulations should be uh, multi layered. You know, for instance, the guilds, they should do some regulation. By making sure that those who are not qualified and who are not worthy to be directors are not admitted into the guild of directors. The same, and that's the same goes for all the other guilds. Before they admit you into a guild, you must go through interview and uh, they must ask you questions, know your credentials, 
you know your pedigree, what have you know, who are you, what have you done and all that. Who did you where did you train? Who did you train from? And all that. So but if they find you to be qualified and worthy to be a director in the movie industry, then you are admitted into the guild. And that means that you know you know what you know your audience, you know what it takes to direct movies. Right? So and then another you know uh, area that will help to improve the quality of what we do is this kind of uh, exercise that we're doing here today. You know, continuous workshops and seminars where we keep telling ourselves you know, what we should be doing and what we should not be doing uh, in order to make our industry better. And I think, you know, the third layer is the census board, I mean, uh, which after you have <coughs> recorded your movie, you must take your movie for, for censorship. And I think, you know, I mean, the people there are also very experienced. They also learned, uh, I mean, they studied theater and they know about what we're doing. So they can also tell you, no, this one is not good, this one is go and remove it. And I think they used to tell some movie directors to go and remove one of the things from their films. Right? So these are the levels of reg regulation. And if we, the moment we we don't allow dabblers, uh, you, know, you know, roadside people, those who are not uh, supposed to be in the industry, so long as we don't allow them to, 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 to come there so that, you know, it will now be every dick and Harry just doing whatever they like, the quality of what we are doing will keep improving. And then, you know, I mean, and that's what we want to, to keep, uh, you know, growing and developing. So this is the area of social media. This what? The area of social media. Mm. The, the, some of the actors are now engaged in skate making. Is that not killing the industry? No, no, no. <laughs> the more the merrier. You know, the sky is wide enough for everybody to do whatever they want to do. So it's not cleaning any industry. It's creating more content. We need more content. Definitely. But the standard is the standard because they are not being regulated. Regulated, sorry. Well, you know, I mean, do you buy? Do you buy the, those those kids? Do you buy them? Do you buy them? Uh, so if you don't, the one that you don't want to watch, you can once you click, once they send it to you, if you click it, me, I don't, I don't watch many of them till the end. Why, sir? And if the standard is not good, just like you said, if it's not something that I want to watch, is it by force? <laughs> so, so it, it's not. It, it shouldn't be a problem. That's that's the point I'm making. So, finally, sir, uh, your your message for the TGD. TGD. The, the body organizing this. Uh, the fact that I'm here is an important message. <laughs> that that uh, I'm, you know, in support of what they're doing, and I'm here to lend. You know, my uh, approval to this kind of exercise because it is very important. It's very crucial to you know what we all yearn for, what we all desire to see in the industry: growth, development, quality. So I commend them. I applaud them. I give them kudos, and uh, I'm happy with what they're doing. So, and I wish them to do more. Yeah. Your advice for the new investors? New investors? Yes, sir. <laughs> what are they investing in? In movies? Yes, sir. Well, I mean, uh, they should keep investing. Maybe they, if they did one and they, they, they have not you know, made any profit, they should not be discouraged. Um, Usually, things in life don't go the way we want it sometimes, you know. But there are some who will invest and will make profit and then everybody is happy, right? But if by any chance they invest in any movie that did not make it, did not make profit, they should not be discouraged. That's, that's, that's just my statement. But they would need more investors. We need more. Because the more investors, the more movies, the more quality movies that we're going to have in the industry. Unless there are some producers, you know, you know, you know we have some funny producers as well who we'll collect a uh, good amount of money and will not actually spend the money on the productions. We'll go and buy a car first and then, you know, now manage the remaining money to, to do so. So, investors should also uh, watch out. 
for you know producers who have integrity, you know, so that when they, they spend their money to produce films, they'll make their money back with profit. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Once you work short, you back in the yard. Cinema DD. Cinema to my friend, but you don't say. I want you to go to the house. Can you go to the house? How are you? First of all, I knew you were to go to I'm still alive as part of TGT now. But if you move to the house, I don't know about the house. I don't know about the house. This is the cinema team. This is the house. Like that. The cinema team is not the house. It's not the house. In respect of many languages, you can share food. What is that? If you speak your back, what that? To my father, once it is well shot, to yabo share koche, no doni kori boche ki ori. Sir, you are one of the very very vibrant directors in your movie sector. And the question is this: lot of some of the movies, not all, some of them, very little amount of it are below standard. As a director, how do, you, how do you think can check me this in the industry? Uh, we can only try. The only thing we have seen is that we can match it up. Once a figure is not equal, you can't expect every producer, director, actor to be equal. You can only do your own. Think about the steep budget we start with. Steep budget by our local show standard. We are not too good. Back when I called you, I spoke to you. Don't forget to catch your feet. But the last one is not very detailed. That's not what that means. Stay political, so proper. We look at the shape. We want to start to build a lot of money. The job is a big thing. Can be one. Can invest. You are lonely. How do you want to do it? How you say good morning? What do you do? We produce a good movie. But I don't feel like I need to be one. I just want to pay. I show me the how to park. I feel more tamo. I feel more tamo. You show me the agato. Feel more tamo. International way. You can talk most of the time. Tell them about film. When you go to cinema, one year in your film, you sell your film team to make waves in the cinemas or to make box office. A lot of films, for example, uh, The King of Thief by Fima De Bayo, uh, King of Boys, don't you know, is 60% your bad there. And people watch it internationally. I just want to talk about it. That's why I go in there. We are watching it. It means, it means overall I need. Come on, Robo, I want your work. They are ready to work, and they are working. Now they are ready to plan. We are not bashing. So, so, we are not going to get in really. But I want to ask some questions. Go. Hey, I already see they are not doing programming. See me. Robo must not be doing the day. It's a general process. Ah, the question must change up or no? Dear, 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 dear. I am going to get the general system. We learn. From the job, but the balloon, the balloon, our garage, they are not upgrade our money. But go to seminars, workshop, symposium. From there, I know my improve show up. Yeah, as a director, sir, what someone need to become a very good director like like you? Ah, it don't need to go. It to become a good director, it don't need to go. Well, you need to be versatile. It's not about story alone. It's not compulsory for a director to know how to write a story. I'm not be a writer. Mo lima gastro kula ndo moko. Bomla tmo what is director is. Kini kachira director ni. Mo lima tmo technical ni. Mo lima tmo short ni. Mo bo bo bonti wa londa kupata director lima tmo fifty percent me. You don't get makeup makeup is not good. I'm just telling you makeup is not good. Ti kosto ni bada. Mani sabo kolo yoda. Mani mo kolo palette ni. Ele tazu mo mbapo. We got something remote sensing in the color. In the story we have color one. White color and white background. Tim Mamma can consume me Nemo. Tim Mamma can set me Nemo. Mamma not know everything. Mamma can make up no. This is not my because don't do it. It's for the league. There's at least 50% of our crews. Tim Mamma can make up continuity. Tim can just make up. Mamma can make up. Mamma can make up. That's the company director. We have a total theater. At least 50%. So what make uh, you as a director different from other? No, I don't know. But I'm going to shoot me. I'm doing my best. Call for black currency. Give me one more. Others, my boy. I'm not going to be in town only. 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 
uh, 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 milk. I don't sleep. That was so the soup. New soup. That's an obvious lady. I want to ask you to be sure you like. I
Eje kasari teola le chedi ku. Kitu fusi ye inkoto ku. Awuz billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa ala khatim 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 wa ala khatim
God bless you. I told you they won't be stopped by me chicken at all. The next person I will call now is the number one citizen for Tampa Labor State to come and declare this seminar open. Alani, Barry, I am your job. Every kind of applause for my brother. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Sit down. Sit down. Thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I especially greet my guests on the high table they have and the entire members of TGT here present. Before I declare this event home for me, I just want to see, please sit down. Sit, sit, ah, sit, I don't know now. Ah. The, what I want to say now is this. It is in our constitution and that is why I will talk on that, and it has to do with you directors. You are a key factor in Tampa, and that is why we have a guild specially open for you. We expect you as directors to contribute to the growth of Tampa Legal State most especially. How do I mean? We were told that any day there is state meeting, which we do have every first Wednesday of every month, camera must not grow. It is in the Constitution. But I'm a bit disappointed that we don't follow that spirit of the Constitution. And as a part of and parcel of Lagos State Tampa, I know that the majority of these movie directors are from the Lagos State chapter. I'm just appealing to you right now, Mr. T.C. J.J., the chairman of the guild, and other members of the guild too, that let us follow that area very well by telling your men, the cast and crew to attend the state meeting. It is a duty call, which we all know the Constitution demand from us all. I hope that next time, uh, the members of the committee will attend our state meeting and ensure that those guys and crew attend the state meeting too. And that is number one. Number two, which is critical to the development of any organization is the fee production level. How much is production level? We all know it is 11,000. I want to appeal to you to ensure that any production that is going on within the state, you demand for the receipt of the, of the money paid into the national account and post it to our platform. Luckily for us, the convener of this particular event we are having today is the Organizing Secretary of Legal State. I'm talking of Mr. Mashud Ajali Okoleye and, and some others too. I want, to, I want you to assist us to get our deals, our rights. And at this point, I want to appreciate the, the National Provost Marshal, Mr. Tony Ogudimu Ara, who has been doing a fantastic job in that area. And I don't want him to be the only person. I want other members of that guild to support us through the payment of that dues and post the teller to us and at the same time attend the state meeting so that we will be happy with each other. At this juncture, I want to declare this event open in the name of Almighty Allah. So shall it be. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir.
You are anywhere from sir. King Fred. He takes a look of it. Chairman, God bless you. If you can go for the Fred, please. Ayo, a deputy in Osha. Need the camera. God bless you. God bless you. A Y line. A big round of applause for you. A Y line. God bless you. God bless you. That's what I'm going to do. The Guild of Lecturers stand by for organizing this uh, workshop or seminar. Um, I'm appreciating because. Everything we do in life, if we do not also work towards improving ourselves and honing our skills, developing ourselves, we'll just be on the same level. So I want to thank you for doing this for yourselves and for our industry, for our profession, because I believe that the desire is to develop and to get things right. Yes, I, I, I know that this is a new generation of uh, you know artists in the professional model, uh, and so you understand these things because I believe that many of you also went to school and you know the importance of acquiring knowledge. Develop these skills. So thank you. And of course, you know, the, the importance of workshops and seminars like this uh, is that at the end of the day, even if it's not more than just one thing, you know, we are going to learn and take away from here. Just one thing, and that is enough. Learning is never something that can end. We keep learning every day. So after this workshop, once we have learned one or two things, in another time, maybe you know, another a few months time, could even be one year, it doesn't matter. I've got another workshop, another seminar, we we'll learn another thing. Imagine if we are learning new things like that, you know, regularly. Eventually we we'll become knowledgeable, more knowledgeable in whatever we are doing. So I want to encourage you to continue to do uh, more of this. So let's give a round of applause for I mean, to Pan Pan, these of directors for putting this together. Well, they have invited me to come and talk about the writing. I hope um, I'll be able to do justice to, to that. You know? <laughs> I believe that many of you know me as an actor. Uh, you know, that's what I am known for actually. And uh, a theatre director. A theatre director, which is different from movie director. I deliberately, you know, tried not to uh, go into that direction of uh, being a movie director. Uh, because when I, you know, tested or tasted what being an actor is, on movies, I prefer doing that. You know, you know why? A director will start his work before location. He will start his work before location. On location, is there. After location, his work continues. But as an actor, you you need me only when I'm coming to location. And even if I may just spend one or two days, three days, four days, after I finish, I take off. And that's the end, you know, that does. So I deliberately, you know, uh, left doing that. Maybe if I, you know, uh, picked up an interest in movie directing, I'm sure uh, I'm likely to have succeeded. But I'm happy being an actor, uh, I'm also a theatre. Director, because I direct plays on stage. So let's look at uh, you know the subject of writing. Um, the script 
is the number one element of every production. Whether on radio, TV, film, or stage, the number one element. And if that element is not solid, is not right, it can affect almost everything in the production. So we must get our scripts right. Now, there are four major dramatic elements, or what we call pillars of a dramatic script. Four major elements of a script. The first is the plot, the plot of the script. The second is the setting. The third are the characters. And the fourth is the dialogue. The dialogue. So these four elements, they are very critical. The way the writer, you know, mixes them and uses them to, you know, do his uh, play construction, they are very important to the outcome of the script after he has finished writing. So the plot, the plot is simply the basic story, the basic story of the play of the script, or what we call the outline of events, the outline of events, how the events in the script happen after one and after the other, after the other, after the other, how the, 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 the script writer arrange those events in such a way that it will make sense and it will be exciting and interesting to the people who are watching or reading you know, the script. Now, we have two types of plots. We have what we call the simple plot. A minute more. A minute more. Hey, okay, okay. Well, it's when you stop me when I when you when you are no problem. So then you have what we call and if you want me if you want to explain all the things, you know, I have mentioned the um, the the four pillars of dramatic uh, script, the plot, the setting, the character, the dialogue. Apparently you don't want to do any explanation of them and them. Ah, but I want to have questions and answers, sir. And we still have questions and answers. Yes. Then we also have what we call the outline of plots. Outline of plots. How do you actually what, what is the structure of your script? There are four also four outlines. The first one is what we call introduction or exposition. In your script, you must establish the problem in the first two scenes. If, if possible, in the first scene, if possible, what we call exposition. Then, crisis, number two is crisis. Once that problem of the script is exposed in the first two scenes, there must be crisis, something that opposes, you know, that problem which you have, or, you know, or desire or plan, which you have uh, exposed in the first two scenes, that is called crisis, something that, you know, to, to the idea. Then there's what we call complication, you know, as the events and the actions rise, and then finally there is resolution. So there are also four the 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 lines of thought. So thank you very much. I am not I'm done. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Hello. That week, uh, before I call on my partner to actually allow uh, to, to call on the second uh, uh, resource person to, to tackle these two uh, issues that we're talking about, I just want to say this. Prof, we have a problem in the industry. Thank God we said the first element, in fact, script writing is the foundation on which we 
erect the structure that is the building. But then, most of the uh, screens that we have around in the industry, they are nothing to write home about. They are just because someone can string together in one or two, he sees himself as a script writer without learning the basic, without going into it deeply. And people like you, you have been called upon to come and act. And when you get to locations and you receive such script, you are not talking about it, you are not condemning it. So it continues to encourage those who are doing the wish washing and uh, script writing to continue. But when the likes of you come on set and you condemn it though, I cannot work with this, I can't, this is not the script for me, maybe they will take the pain to go back to school and learn. But I'm just saying, uh, when we get there, we shall know how to cross the bridge. Thank you very much. You are welcome, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, you, you know, uh, from the way he has started, Emma will for now. But because of the time frame, it's like he's trying to summarize the whole lot. But that is the main reason why we are here. We are here so that by the time we leave here, we'll be able to take one or two things home as a benefit. So now, uh, having prevailed upon to, to give him additional five minutes, just to round up. As you might do, take your pen, start writing your questions, because that is why they are here. They are here to satisfy your name. Thank you. My job. So, as I was saying, um, let me also just quickly talk about uh, the when you are writing, the dramatic devices that you use in your script. There are, there are six of them. You know, the first one is conflict. Conflict. The second one is surprise. The third one is coincidence. You use, you know, these uh, devices consciously in achieving your, your the, 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 the plot of your pain. You must use them consciously. Conflict, surprise, coincidence, flashbacks, irony. What, what, what we call uh, contrast and then suspense. I mean, all these things are usually present in most of our streets. But many of, many of us don't know that, uh, you know, these are the conscious way of making them to be present in our streets. So you have to be conscious to make sure that, you know, these elements are present when you are writing or when you are developing you know, your, your, your script. Conflict, as I was saying earlier, when you start, when you start, when a movie starts, don't dwell too much on cut scenes. Don't dwell too much on, I mean, somebody can come in, and they are bad on you, you know, all those things, they are not, they are not very necessary. Don't, don't, let it, don't, you know, dwell too much. So, establish your conflict, the problem. As I said, in the first scene, like the simple plot that, you know, writers normally used to explain that is, when the boy wants to marry a girl, so that desire has been, you know, established, but what he has desire, boy wants to marry a girl, parents say no. So, conflict. Alright? As they try to, you know, uh, maybe uh, ask family members to uh, intervene so that they can get married to themselves, all of them disagree and then they plan to run away. They plan to end up. Alright? One way or the other, that plan did not succeed. You know, so you, you just keep, you know, uh, adding more complications to the story, but that's the idea of 
conflict which I, which I, which I uh, talk about. Then the elements of surprise, something shocking must be made present in your spirit. A revelation, for instance, maybe uh, your mother, the person you think that's your mother, eventually you, you know, appears not to be your mother along the line. Or your spouse, the person you marry, you didn't know that he or she has a problem of having children, but he or she knows that he cannot have children. But he gets married to you, and then you know, he keeps that a secret, and eventually the matter comes out and the So that, that's element of surprise. There are so many ways that this element can be used in spirit, but it must be present in your spirit. The element of coincidence is also important, and you must try to use it when we are writing. I mean, we do it a lot. I mean, maybe one boy, a simple one, somebody can be driving and see, see the girl across the street, you know, and he stops. I mean, we do it a lot of movies, and then they become friends that way. And eventually they can get married. But there are more, you know, tangible, you know, suspenseful situations. You can meet someone in the, in the hotel, you know, the girl that you refuse the pregnancy. Maybe you gave one a, a, a woman pregnancy some time ago, and then the child, you know, which you refuse to accept, eventually becomes the girlfriend of your own son. Or even you become the person you, you marry. You know, anything can happen in movies. And, you know, so don't, don't, we, we, we are always told to let our imagination run wild. Don't be thinking that, uh, no, but you say that anything can happen. Anything can happen. So, one minute for that. Yes. Now, uh, then flashbacks. We all use that a lot you know, in our movies. So, um, it's a technique to reveal. Uh, an earlier action, you know, which had which had been hidden before, a truth which had been hidden, and then uh, finally suspense. You know, your story must engender what is uh, called dramatic questions. You know, when people are watching your film, they must keep asking, "What does this guy want?" You know, why do they hate themselves like this? Is this stranger a threat? Right? You know, who committed this murder? Will you discover the truth? Your audience must keep asking these questions. They may not be saying it out, but they, I mean, sometimes they even say it out. Every ah, you know, you know, you know why? Why are you going to? Is it, you are watching the film and you are making something coming. Why? It is because the writer has, you know, put in that script what will make you to be asking what we call that dramatic question. And those dramatic questions are the book. In every story, they are the book in every story and the book will make present in your life. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I thought there was something to talk about. Okay, um, I thought we were all going to take down our questions and write down the last the questions. And then we can get it and then we can see. I want to give my power of your partner. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, good afternoon everybody.
you know, uh, I call them to realize that as a father of our family tour, as an art director, uh, which is not commonly used in this part of the world, uh, you know, I can't admire when I see the credit roll and I see set man, one of the other things, set man, I see all of that. So we should start, you know, doing justice to credit giving. You know, when we do our fees, it tells a lot about what we know about this uh, business. Yeah, suffice it to say that uh, we should actually be talking about production designers here because an art director works for a production designer. He is the one who sees to the implementation of the dream of a production designer. And we think a film or theatrical experience, who is a production designer? A production designer is that creative individual, you know, a trained visual artist. A trained visual artist who functions as a visual conceptualist. He works directly with the director of the movie. He is a collaborator. He joins the movie director to create the world of illusion, to tell the lies that we are meant to tell. With his input, a lie now becomes what the other day uh, referred to as truthful life. You know, you are able to deceive them so much to think that what they are actually saying is real. So, so this is the capacity that the production designer functions. You know, uh, the director, uh, so to say, relies on him interpreting uh, his own concept visually to be able to convince the audience. Right. Um, that this, there are elements in you know, all these, and there are different personnel within the production process that work in the area of production design. Here we are talking about the set designer, we are talking about the lighting person. You know, I need to say that what is mostly lacking in our own business, our filmmakers, in Nigeria, this part of the world, is lighting. You see fantastic storytelling, you see fantastic acting, waiting to be beaten by everybody, and I think they know all for that, all over the world. But in the area of convincing and purposefully lighting a movie, there are still some deficiencies. And it is this lack of technical input that draws us of the world that we are supposed to go home with when we go for international you know, competition. For instance, we need to start asking, when does South Africa, for instance, become the gateway to entertainment in Africa? You know, you meet at festivals, they go home with lawyers and the rest of them. It is not that the test story is more than us. It is not that the acting is so super. It is the technical input, you know, that gives them all these gifts. Now, we are talking about the, the costume designer, too. There is a personnel who take this uh, promotion process. Then we are talking about even the props designer, the props manager, you know, so to say, and etc. You know, we have so many like that within that promotion process. I'm conscious of the fact that I don't have more than 10 minutes to spend. So I need to just, you know, make it snappy. Let me talk about what roles design plays in weather theater or a film production. Now, one, it helps to establish the mood in the production or 
uh, whether theater or film. It also helps to establish or uphold the spirit, the spirit of the project. That is saying that before camera rolls or before you know you draw the curtain in the theater, the technical director as it is in the theater or the art director or production designer in cinema must have had a very serious meeting of agreement with the director of that project who has the overall vision you know for that project. It is the vision of the director that every personnel keys into. Right? In doing that, you still want to establish yourself as an artist first and foremost. That is where the creative artist, that's a designer in this way, to say, let me also exhibit, you know, uh, a bit of our professionalism, more so than the whole world has done last matters. Uh, audience all over the world, it's not popular to Nigeria, they simply want to be entertained. And their entertainment starts even from, even from your posters. Then you are not talking about the set, you are talking about the, 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 the location. I don't see any director that will have his art direct, director or production designer while going on working to go and look for just any house, even when you are not going to build. You want something that is aesthetically pleasing. Don't you agree with me? Yes. Now, it's because the audience too are the who don't do. We want to have value for the money that we spend towards your movie. You know, so in terms of the mood, the production designer sets the mood for you. Then he upholds the spirit of the of, 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 of the story. In agreeing with the moral concept given by the director. Uh, when you look at you know the work of the production designer in this regard, it will be safe to say that every good production designer is a frustrated director. Because you must have the instinct of a director. You must be able to reason as a director yourself to be able to determine certain production elements that will work in the vis-a-vis the concept of the director to be able to make sense. You know, so, uh, talking about mood, if you, if you want figurine, for instance, figurine, the situation created by Pac Lebo, you know, one of our good designers, you know, already sets without even offering a wall where we had, you know, water events and the rest of them and all the images and the rest of them. When you have a designer that is good at his work, he helps you to even economize words. You don't have to say much to establish certain facts. A minute to go. His work is already this. You mean I'm so close to 10. I'm so sorry. But okay, let, let, let me just do that. So we are talking about establishing mood and upholding the spirit. Then the second one is the historical period of that story. It is the designer that will first establish it. When we watch only who, for instance, from the costume that the women are wearing, this only who shot in, you know, the radiogram or gramophone or whatever that you see there, and the kind of houses that they use who already put in your mind the historical period of that particular you know, project. You know, then we go to the local of the story. The local is simply establishing where that action is taking place. If you watch a law for instance, designed by me, you don't have to be told that you are going to pay when you see all the structures, the, those are other structures in Ube, you don't need to be told that you are not in a or 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 anything for that matter to know. And the founders applause for speaker, please. Thank you for that, please. Thank you for that, please. Thank you, please. Now, uh, we really don't want to take your time. 
So uh, uh, there are different strategies or starters of education. Those who did not go to school can train under somebody. It is also a valid way of training. I mean, the uh, informal way of training people. What is important is to be trained. So if you don't have opportunity to go to school, really, does not mean anything. Now, there are various ways that you can learn. If you want to be a good director, for instance, I believe that you need to watch a lot of films. Watching films and seeing what other directors, particularly good films, where, you, where they use cinematic techniques, you know, very good concepts, you know, where they use such things that you also want to try, maybe in a different way in your own film is important. So it's just like somebody who wants to be a writer now, must read a lot of plays, a lot of books. That is how it is. Even some of us who are actors, if I tell you now that one of the actors that inspired me was an Indian actor called Amitan Bashar. When I was a young boy, I used to go to watch a lot of Indian films. And I loved the way he acted. And I wanted to act like him. You know, even though I'm not an Indian. But I mean, he was <laughs> my distance kind of mentor, somebody I look forward to. So it is important to also to always have something that you look up to, some, something that you have seen, that you have learned from, even though you did not go to school, but you can learn from you know so many things. Thank you very much. You understand? So intelligence is intelligence. Thank you, sir. Okay. He asked a question. What's the answer number one? You must be close to reality. Please try to be close. Try but not to be close. Try to be to be realistic. Be real. See, the, what what we do, these are our job. Acting, directing, we call it make believe. So what does that mean? If the people watching, even though it is fiction, just like uh, my brother said earlier, you know, uh, what's that the other day it was uh, the truthful life. Truthful life. You know, tell me what I'm saying. Ironic, but we don't have them. So what we do, what we give people, is life. Because it is fiction. Most of our stories are fiction, even though there are some true life stories. But even when you want to do a, do a true life story, you are supposed to, you know, to fictionalize it in a way. And, and add your own soul and pepper and all that. But in, in, spite, in, in spite of the fact that it is fiction, you want the audience to believe you as if it is real. So it must be real for the audience to believe and to enjoy, you know, watching what, what you are giving them. So please, try and be real, 100%. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. So back that up. That's why it's important to show me that over. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe on our YouTube channel, subscription is free. You can call us on 0080 for your event coverage.